if j equal to cos theta plus i sin theta, let us find the value of j to the power n plus 1 by j to the power n. We have two choices. We compute j to the power n by applying binomial theorem or we apply de Moivre's theorem. It is much easier to do it is much easier to do by applying de Moivre's theorem. So let's apply de Moivre's theorem. j to the power n equal to cos theta plus i sin theta whole thing to the power n. By de Moivre's theorem, this power can simply be used to multiply with the angle theta. So we will get n theta, this power can simply be used to multiply with the angle theta. So we obtain cos n theta plus i sin n theta. Similarly, 1 by z to the power n equal to z to the power minus n equal to cos theta plus i sin theta to the power minus n. Again by de Moivre's theorem this is equal to cos minus n theta plus i sin minus n theta. We know that cos is an even function so cos of minus theta is simply cos theta. So this is equal to cos n theta and sine is odd function so this minus i sine n theta. We add equation 1 and 2 to obtain. We add equation 1 and 2 to obtain z to the power n plus 1 by z to the power n equal to 2 cos n theta i sin n theta and minus i sin n theta will get cancelled and we have the result z to the power n plus 1 by z to the power n is simply equal to 2 cos n theta because i sin theta and minus i sin theta will get cancelled.